The selection of wings to fly and Elimu scholarships in arid and semi-arid counties, mostly in northern Kenya, took place in the middle of the year. Community Scholars Selection Boards CSSBs, and Community Scholars Advisory Committees CSAC, sat to select the Wings to Fly and Elimu Scholars respectively by first accepting forms and shortlisting candidates to be invited for interviews. The interviews in Garissa County were soon followed by home visits in different homes. For the entire week, we've been doing the selection which gave us a short list. And uh, at the end of the short list, uh, from this morning, we embarked on this exercise of uh, visiting, or what we are calling family visits. Hussein Noor from Kuno village in Balambala sub-county in Garissa County is the only child in the family of eight who has completed class eight. He is ready for high school, having sat the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCPE exams to get a remarkable 392 marks. Noor lives in this grass-thatched dwelling with her ailing parents. We are living in Amayata. That is a traditional method of, of living. We are living in an open ground where there's no, there's no any animals, there's no cows. There's no goods, even we don't have uh, something to uh, any animal to milk. In the house, there's no any bed. We are using the traditional method that has uh, now has come old. This is our Makut house. This is uh, where we sleep. This is my 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 parents' bed. This is my bed. These are my books. And these are our, our, our items. This book I, I really study at night. Noor learned about the Wings to Fly program while still in school and worked hard to get the scholarship. I used uh, to, uh, to study at night using a torch because there was no electricity which uh, we, we can use to light the house. I had about uh, Wings to Fly when I was in class 7 and I, I, I was working hard to, go, uh, to get that one. Noor has been admitted to Kamusinga High School, but turning up to begin secondary education remained in doubt. Father is now uh, paralyzing one leg and, and one hand. But mother is still so sick. We were, before, we were helping by our father's brother, who has died last month. Noor's father was taken ill and unable to carry out difficult tasks. He has adapted to saying prayers for his family and the faithful for alms that enable him to afford at least a meal a day. After completing school, Noor hopes to excel to be admitted to university for a course in the medical field. I need the Wings to Fly scholarship because I I wanted to raise my education to be one of the Kenyan members who have, who, have, who, have, who have been educated and to help Kenya, our country, and also to, to help uh, our, our family. Kare Amina lives a few kilometers from Marsabit. She is one among four siblings raised by an ailing widowed mother in this rented house. While in class five, Kare dropped out of school because her ailing mother was not in a position to support her education. She then moved in with her relatives in the neighboring Ethiopia, but life there forced her to take up casual jobs. When my father died, my grandma took me to Ethiopia and she conceived mom that she will take me to school. But when I got there, the story was different. She didn't take me to school and I was just doing, I was like a housewife. I was doing the house chores and I didn't went to school for almost four, four or five years. And life was very difficult. Sometimes I didn't get a food. Having stayed out of school, Kare could not communicate in the Kenya's official languages of English or Kiswahili. She started losing her self-esteem, a factor that prompted her to go back to school. 
we don't even live in our home. We live in a rental house. Mom, she, does, she doesn't have a stable job that she get a salary and she will cut our basic need. So she, she's just doing hustling and sometimes she, she will not get a money that it will take us, it will take our food. There are days that we go without tea. Sometimes even we can, we can stay two, three days without eating. We take just as a food from school. Kare sat her KCP exams and emerged the best student in her school, scoring 383 marks. The things that forced me to study hard is my background from where I came. Because if I will not study hard, who will get my mom out of those problems? How can I going to get rid of this poverty if it's not me? When the girl came to this school, we looked at her and we could not be see, see that if she would be able to manage to complete because of her age uh, on the age of the runners. But the girl was very responsible, honest and turned to be guiding others. Following her admission at Moy Girls Eldoret, Kare is optimistic that if she gets the Wings to Fly scholarship, she will achieve her dream of becoming a pilot. My dream is that I want to be a pilot. I want to take mom all over the world so that she feel like her. she has given her birth to a hero. I want to be a hero for mom. Halima hails from a remote village in Moyale called Dabel. She is the second born in a family of four. Halima's father died earlier, but it is the passing of her mother that depressed her more because she was in class eight and facing the national exams. After the death of my parents, getting the three meals was a very difficult in, our, in, my, in my life. But I tried my best to read hard and, and score a very good marks. On sitting KCPE in Dabel Primary School, Halima scored 370 marks and emerged the best student in her school to gain admission to Marsabit Girls High School. I'm working hard to become a famous person in the future because I'm the only person in our family who can change the, our life, the, the life of our family. The Community Scholars Selection Board sitting in Moyale made a home verification visit to Halima's home to ascertain the level of need. Uh, the situation here is uh, demanding. The girl is really needy. We have found out that she don't have, she, her father has been deceased. The mother is also deceased. Their house is falling. As board, one of the board members of uh, Equity, uh, Wings to Fly, I have seen that uh, this program is really assisting the needy people. Elema Badake resides in Belesa, some 200 kilometers north of Marsabit town. He is a firstborn in a family of seven. They live in a traditional dwelling that is hardly conducive to habitation and study. I came from a family of seven. I'm the firstborn. We live in that grass house. I myself, I sleep even outside. I sleep outside because it is hot at night because of very high temperature. Elema attended Belisa Primary School and despite undergoing numerous challenges, he worked hard, emerging top in his class from lower class till class eight. In, in school, the life is, is sometimes challenging because when, when I go to school, it takes 40 minutes from here to the school. That, that time, West, West, sometimes West my, and yes, I'm in the day school because the boarding has no space. But I studied hard and I got 365. After sitting KCPE, Elema topped his class with 365 marks and has been admitted to Makueni Boys High School. With the Wings to Fly scholarship, Elema believes that he will be a step closer to achieving his dream of becoming a doctor. I need the wings to fly because I am from a very poor family. Elema's parents are jobless 
having lost all their livestock to drought. They largely depend on the community for food and other basic needs. What make me to work hard? I want to provide my family with basic needs, shelters, and remove, and remove from this poverty. A few kilometers from Lodwa in the northeastern Kenya lives 16-year-old Faith Lore. Faith is an orphan having lost her mother at a tender age. She lives with her aged grandmother who took the children in after the demise of her daughter. No one knows the whereabouts of Faith's father who is remembered to have left the family when the children were still young. I was living with my mother alone. They got separated with my father, but I don't know where my father goes. And my mother died in 2013. 2013, after that, I live with my grandmother, and my grandmother took a good care of us, me and my sister. Faith's education at Komboni Primary School was hampered by many challenges. She, however, endured to score 307 marks in her KCPE exams and gained admission to Lodua Girls High School. My grandmother used to tell me she is not able to pay for me, so I must work hard so that I can get help to continue with my studies. The family is hopeful that the Elimu scholarship she has been given is a God-sent opportunity to break through difficult circumstances. If I get this Elimu scholarship, I will make sure I, I, I work hard so that I can help my family and the society. I want to be a teacher because even in school, I just had that to teach my, my, my other students in school. So. I would like to be a teacher. For the grandmother, faith will be the change the family has been hoping for. Okati aliletea mimi namba yake. Bile mimi liwana kwa simu namba yake. Mimi na furai kama yeye kama agili yake anapunguka. Kama yeye nasoma mzuri. Nachukua namba mzuri. Takuja kufanyia kazi serikali pamoja na iku. Mimi tapadilika. Takuwa mimi siyo huyu. Inyo nakuanda hivi. At home on the shores of Lake Tukana in Kalokol town, Samson Luala prepares to go fishing for food and sell to support his family. The humble circumstances at home forced him to learn fishing at an early age. Baba ni mfufi. Na ana kazi nyingine ya kufanya. Mimi niliamua niliamua kukuja hapa na tra ili nipate pesa ya Luala joined Kalokol Mixed Primary School where he sat for his KCPE exams and scored 336 marks. <laughs> While in school, Samson used to study during the week and fish over the weekend to cater for his family's needs. Ikifika weekend, ilikuwa na naomba rosa kwa shule. Ili ni kuja kufua, ndo ni pate pesa dana ya kuzaidia wa sasi. Mimi ndo nasaidia familia, nikiwa mdogo hivi. Sasa, nadikakamua kwa wesa wangu hote, naingia kwa bari, transport. Interview. 
Sasa ndiyo napanya hata mimi na saadia sahai kuyanda kwa bari na pata kitu kudoko na tufia mimi. Sasa vile ya sahai mimi na wana hivi basi kama hii kijana yangu itapata kazi itasaadia mimi. Kama serikali itasaadia hii mtoto yangu. Samson is determined to join high school to change his life and that of his family but without a scholarship he will drop out of school and continue fishing. Mimi nikikwaza nini scholarship sitakuwa na uwezo wa kupanda shule kwa sababu wasasi hawajiwezi. Hawana kitu ya kupeleka nini shule. Sasa naomba naomba ili naomba hii scholarship ni sponsor ili nipate kuendelea na masomo yangu. Charles Longuron comes from a family of two in the outskirts of Lodua town. He lives with his aunt who took them in after the demise of his parents. On becoming orphaned, Charles became a street child to fend for himself as there was no one to take care of him. She was the only one that we depended on. The whole family depended on him. So when she, she died, so we became helpless. So everybody disappeared. So even me, I went to street just to look for a job. When I decided to go to school, the challenges that I, I, I got through in, at school were more. I didn't have a, even an uniform. So I got some friends who helped me with a uniform. Charles's aunt does casual jobs, but her income is insufficient to meet the family's daily needs. Ambia iguti asante kwa maana mmenisaidia. Singepata nguvu yoyote ya kupelekea tena kwa shule. Sasa kama aliingia kwa mkono na iguti, ndio sasa amesaidika na ataenda kwa shule atasoma atakuja kunisaidia pia akimalizia. Charles sat for his KCP in Napu Primary School and scored 373 marks to gain admission to Lodwa High School where the Wings to Fly program will meet all his needs. If I, I will get the Wings to Fly scholarship, I will like it because I know that after that I will show my strength and performance at school. I would like to be a pilot in my future life. These are but a few of the thousands of bright but needy scholars admitted to the 2021 Wings to Fly and Elimu scholarships to change the course of their lives and the communities they hail from. <coughs> Wings to Fly and Elimu scholarship beneficiaries from Samburu County have been commissioned to begin their secondary education. No one can ever tell you that it is impossible because with hard work and determination, everything in this world is possible. Equity Foundation has set, God has put them into those plans for you. It is now up to you to do your part and to do it the best way that you can. You can never get another opportunity like the one you have gotten anywhere else in the world. We will encourage you all of you to aim and to purpose to get an A and an A minus. But hard work has no substitute. Nothing ever happens. Things are made to happen.